one of the trigger points for me when I became AD, well, became ADHD, became, a, became aware that I was ADHD is um, my son has it. So he's six, Leo, he's at school, year one. And within two weeks of starting what is the academic year, um, his first academic year in year one rather than reception, his teacher came to me and was clearly trying to hint that she felt that he had ADHD and was trying to dig around to see whether we were aware of that. And I was already suspicious that he had it. And what she said kind of confirmed it. And two things happened for me. Like one, I was, I was really emotional. Um, as ADHD people, we tend to be quite emotionally supercharged. We we are either not emotional at all or we're super emotional. And I'm definitely in, in both camps at times. And when she said that to me, it was a relief. Honestly, weight came off my shoulders um, because I felt like I wasn't actually alone anymore in telling people that I thought he was and, and then deciding what we were going to do about that, if anything. Um, and furthermore, like when I got home, like, <laughs> Did the classic ADHD thing on the back of it. As so I went hyper focus, so I was like, right, I want to be the best damn ADHD parent for an ADHD child I can be. And I'm, I'm not even that ADHD, right? Like I'm not super, super ADHD. I know people who are. I'm not on that level. Um, but I went hyper focus, and I was listening to podcasts, and I was reading audio books, and reading books, and searching the internet for advice. I was up till late. I was out walking the streets, pacing the streets with baby like who needed to go to sleep, he was screaming. So I'm listening to audio books. And honestly, I just remember like tears running down my face because it was, it was really emotional. It was like, I finally understood what was going on. But as I dug deeper into how I could support Leo, I learned so much more about myself. Um, if that's a journey that you've been going through, I'd love to hear about it in the, in the comments and notes below because I, I think it's something that for people of my age who, you know, between 30 and 50, it wasn't diagnosed when we were kids. Teachers weren't aware of it. You know, we weren't supported in that. We were put down as naughty children or overactive children. And we we just weren't, we just needed that support. Um, and it's fantastic to see that my son, hopefully will be getting that support as he, as he grows older. But, um, you know, just awareness is a huge thing for me.